What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sims 4 video. So today, as you can tell from the title, I am finally touring your builds for my um, most recent shell challenge. So don't forget that the winner of this shell challenge will be getting a game pack of their choice and when we get to the last submission, uh, you'll know who that is because I'm going to kind of go in order of you know eighth place seventh place sixth place you know whatever as i'm recording this intro i don't know how many submissions i'm going to tour somewhere between six and ten um but there were a lot that really stood out to me so thank you all thank you to everyone who submitted um i got over 20 ish submissions um won't be going through them all so i am sorry about that so if i don't get to yours I am thinking about maybe making some extra videos, touring the rest of them, just because that's easy content for me to make and you guys will have the satisfaction of knowing that I actually placed your build down and looked at it and I can give you critiques and um, told you, t I can tell you what I would have done um, based on your build. I don't know. Let me know if you want me to do that and I will. Um, maybe I'll put it, um, uh, maybe I'll put a poll up in my community tab. I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, let me know. But other than that, we're going to hop into game and start touring these, uh, builds. I'm really excited. Okay guys. So I have decided to, um, tour seven of them. Um, so coming in at seventh place is, uh, no, wait, give me a second. Okay guys. So I have decided to tour seven builds um so coming in at seventh place we have the amakabo residence i'm i'm sorry if i'm butchering that um it looks japanese inspired and this is by michael um 1984 22 on the gallery go check him out and it's a base game build so we love that so let's place this down. It looks like it's placed in maybe Strangerville, but I'm going to place them all in Newcrest on the same lot. So hopefully that's okay. Um, don't be mad at me for not placing it where you placed it. It would just be too much for me to be like, okay, which lot is this on? You know, and then switching back and forth from world to world. So we're staying in Newcrest on a 30 by 20. So, yeah, let's place this lot and see what is going on. Okay, guys, and here it is. Okay, it kind of, it, it kind of, I kind of feel bad because this is technically the front of the build. Um, we don't have great lighting, but this is technically the front. Um, but on this lot, this is the front, but this is the proper front for the build. I mean, here's the, 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 what is that called? Mailbox. Yes. Okay. So we have a little pathway going up here. I love, I am obsessed with the detail on the outside of this build. We have a little garden space, almost looks like, could be like a shrine, um, a little gazebo. What's on the table? Is there something on the table? Okay. Details we love. Then we go back here. We have, a. Uh, what is that? <laughs> um, bird bath. Let's get to that level. Turn the grid off. I don't know if that was just forgot to be painted or if that's my game. Um, one thing that I will say, because I kind of like giving you guys feedback when I go through sale challenge builds. Um, because then it, it, then it helps you become a better builder. Not that I'm like the best builder out there. Obviously, I'm not. But I just feel like... I should pay it forward and, you know, give you um, my tips and tricks that way that will help you guys out in the future. And like with, what I would have done with this pond is like take some rocks and I wouldn't have taken these. I would have taken debug rocks and like covered up and I would have covered up the edges of the pond just so it doesn't look like you used the pool tool. Does that make sense? See how you have like these really sharp edges 
So just, I would, me personally would cover that up with rocks. Now, if you like how this looks, that's completely fine. Like there's nothing against you. Obviously you made the list, so it's good. But um, just for my personal taste, I would cover up the edges of the pool with rocks um, so that you couldn't see the actual outline. But that's, I mean, that's it. But the point I was trying to make is I, I just like using uh, Shell Challenge Tours just to give you guys little tips and tricks just to help you out in your future builds, you know? Um, yeah. Okay, so let's go up the stairs. I'm not sure where the main entrance is, but this is the shell, obviously. Um, this goes up into the bedroom simple but it's okay i mean it oh they made it two bedrooms i see you they did make it two bedrooms so we have a toddler room here and the parents room i assume <laughs> and then they also have another door that leads out to a balcony space love 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 that and think about it this um this person only has base games so that's also probably why there's not as much um decorating but nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that so we go downstairs and we have the kitchen or like a little i'm not seeing a sink or a oven i wonder if that was on purpose there's no sink or an oven in there i'm i don't know if that was on purpose and then we go over here and that's just like a little hallway that leads to a single bathroom. Um, and then we come out this way into a living room. Cool. Oh, and are those doors or windows? I think those are windows. So this is not accessible, which is okay. It's accessible from right here, I think, maybe. Um, and I guess this would be the front door. Okay. Okay. There's no shower. There's no shower or tub unless I'm missing something. There's a grill out here, so maybe that's where they're supposed to eat. Um, but I'm not seeing a shower. I mean, technically, if if these are ex if the pools are accessible, they could get go in there, <laughs> and it would help their hygiene a little bit. But yeah, so that is the first build. Good job. Good job. Um, I don't know if the things that were missing were, I don't know if that's my, my game's fault or if you accidentally forgot them. And yeah, let's move on to the next build. Okay, guys, the next build is by Liz Banane. Liz Banane. Liz, Liz Banane. <laughs> it's called the, the Garden Witch. Um, yeah, a sec. Oh. She, uh, bleh. this is her second entry. I didn't even realize you entered two, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, let's look at this. I love, this is so cute. To, I love your landscaping. It's so colorful. I love how the landscaping matches the windows as far as color. We have a path going around here. You even cluttered up on top of there. Path around here. Oh, I love the, oh, I love the garden space. We have patchy, we have a well. Oh, I love the garden space. Oh, this is cute, putting that in there. Then we have this, this uh, little another area, bird feeder. I love this object so much. You may have done this on purpose, but with stairs like this, with, with stairs, if you just bump it in, it you won't have that little bump out it's just for some reason to me having that looks weird i don't know why may it could just be a me thing um let's go down to that level oh i love this that's where the cauldron is and the spell book or the potion book rather oh i love it's so pretty just seeing this on the just seeing the gallery photos of this, I was like, oh, this is going to be one of the top builds. So I almost feel bad for putting it uh, in sixth place. There was just so many great builds, y'all. 
and the one thing I love most about this one is the detail. I don't. There's probably supposed to be stairs right here. Excuse me. I'm gonna put some in. I do have BB dot move objects on, so it's not my fault. <laughs> Because I do have BB.move objects on. But there's probably supposed to be stairs there. Because this is the main entrance, I assume. I love this. She has a cat. We love a cat witch. Maybe even a dog. <laughs> or is that the cat's bed? Spoiled ass cat. <laughs> I love this. And then here's the bathroom. Here's the bathroom. We love... So definitely a cat. Oh, that's so cute. I love this build. I love it. And I'm so impressed that you got stairs in. I wasn't, was, were there, there were stairs in the last build. So I'm very impressed at, at, at any of you that got stairs in the build because usually with like smaller homes um, to save on space, you would put like a ladder. So to put a stair, I really, I really appreciate that. This kitchen is really pretty and it's split leveled. Wow. Just absolutely wow good job i love this and there's the okay there's the back door that leads to the cauldron area which makes sense to be off the kitchen i love that and then we go upstairs a little loft bedroom this is cute i love these i love the colors you use okay the bathroom is bright <laughs> it hurts my eyes no it's i love i love your color choices I love your color choices for this build. Hello, where are we going? Can we go back to the build, please, game? Okay, Sims 4 camera needs a revamp. Oh, I love this room. Uh, this, I love builds that make me want to play out the storyline of the person that lives there. And I want to play in this build as this garden witch. Like, maybe, maybe people think she's just, you know, a woman that loves gardening. Maybe, you know, she sells flower arranging, flower arrangements and sells fresh produce, but really she's a witch and nobody knows. But great job. I love this build so much. And who knows, maybe I will use it in the future. So keep a lookout because <laughs> uh, I, I said this in one of my other videos, but I am doing a, my next Let's Play is going to be is going to be a raw. La, 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 la. <laughs> Uh, my next Let's Play is going to be revolved around Realm of Magic. So, who knows? Maybe this will make an appearance. But let's see the next one. Okay, guys. The next build is by uh, Belusims. Bel Belusims. Belusims. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Mile End. Uh, it's called Mile End. I actually just saw this one uh, on Instagram. Um uh, the builder tagged me and I commented on his Instagram posts. <laughs> um, but I love, love, love the way this looks. This is coming in at fifth place. So let's have a look. I, I love it. Uh, the exterior gives me so much life. How did you do this? <laughs> I've seen like tutorials of how to do rounded uh, pools, but I've never tried it. And this looks great. I love this decking. I love your landscaping. I love this. I love the, the driveway. Is this, is this sized up? This isn't even an actual, yeah, this is sized up. And I think you guys, this is all separate pieces. These are the wall decorations sized down. He made a custom fence, bro. <laughs> I would... He put numbers. He put numbers. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this so much. If you can't tell, this is the first time I'm placing it down. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. Let's look at the garage space first, shall we? So we have two cars. Oh, there's skis in there. I love this little moment. It looks very garagey. And then we have a little outdoor entertaining space. I love this. Y'all, 
I was just about to say the only thing that I wouldn't do was put the grill in there because like the smoke would get trapped in there. But there's an open ceiling. There is an open ceiling. I love this. Oh my gosh. Why am I? I'm like fangirling over this. There's a little table and then even a separate space for the laundry with this little bay window with the thing sitting on it. Oh, I love, I love, I love, I love. I hope that's not the only broom because it would suck if you needed to sweep the house and you'd have to come all the way outside. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. Okay, let's go in through the front door. Oh, I love, <laughs> I feel bad for putting it at number five, but there were so many good builds. Oh, I love this. And it, you got stairs in. Very impressed. You use custom artwork from the gallery. Uh, I'm going to do a tutorial on that one day because I've mentioned it a few times and I've used some custom artwork in my builds. So like I was able to get this. Those don't count. Those don't count as custom content because you get them from the gallery. What happens is someone takes a someone puts custom content in their game and then they have their sim paint from reference. And when you have your sim paint from reference, you have your sim take a picture of something. So they put custom content in their game, had their sim paint from reference, took a picture of that custom content, their sim painting it, painted it, and then they put it up on the gallery. So that's why uh, that's in here and it doesn't count as custom content. And it looks like there's one over here as well. I love that this is split leveled. I love that this is split leveled. Um, this goes into a mini uh, living room area, which has a dining space. Love the use of Snowy Escape love this custom bathroom oh my gosh you guys oh I love this are these two separate pieces I don't even know what that is is that a window it's not a window I don't know what that is <laughs> it's got to be a divider or a debug object I don't know but I love it oh this is great good job oh you use tool mod because the this is the normal size of this plant, and if you size it up, oh wait, I thought it got a lot bigger than that if you sized it up. So never mind. Maybe you didn't use tool mod. Cause I thought when you sized this up, it got like crazy big. But no, that's actually a decent size, sized up. I love these custom paintings. If you're watching this, Bellu Sims, sorry if I'm butchering your gallery name, but if you're watching this, actually. I I have you on Instagram now, so I'm going to comment and ask you where you got these uh, custom paintings from because I am obsessed with them. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Where's... uh? Okay, so it leads to this small little spot. I like that because you gave, instead of making it a, like a, a loft room, you gave the room a door, and I love that. Oh, and you got rid of the floor because this was all... This was, no, none of it, I don't remember what I did with the floor plan upstairs, but you made this kind of like open and you put windows in the bedroom. Wow, and you even put shelves up here for some detail. So from the bedroom, you could look out, from the bedroom, you get outside lighting from these and you could look down. I love it. I love this like pop of like Japanese inspiredness. We love that. Hence why you use Snowy Escape stuff. You probably placed this in Mount Komarebi. Um, I love these. These are custom too. Oh, I love this. Great job. Great job. I'm going to have to give some kind of honorable mention. Not honorable mention, but I'm going to have to give some like secondary prizes. Because this is amazing. This is great. I love this so much. I love this so much. So good, good, good job to you. And we are going to move on to the next build. Okay, guys, coming in at fourth place is Tiny Farmhouse by v Vinegar Crisp. And yes, I am in a different outfit. It is a new day. It has been like three days. <laughs> um, I recorded the last the first half of this video on a Friday and it's now Monday so yeah there's that but anyway <laughs> coming in like I said at fifth uh, fourth place is this tiny farmhouse by Vinegar Crisp 
Uh, there is a description, so let's read. It says, this is my first farmhouse build and I chose a tiny shell challenge for it because I think it is so cute and I only use cats and dogs. So that I was really impressed with that, that uh, this builder only used cats and dogs. Um, I really like the building items of this pack. Move objects on. Okay, cool. I thought it was going to be a storyline. It's okay that it wasn't, but y'all know I love storylines. So let's check out her build. Here it is. It is so great. I love, 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 love the detail. Love. I think this is a debug object. This is a debug object. If if you want to go check out this build and download it and you want this to be like a use, usable crops, just delete that object and put like actual things that can be planted there. I'm sure that can work. I'm not sure what this is meant to be, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is meant to be. It's really cool. I like it, but I'm not sure like what it actually is. So Vinegar Crisp, if you're watching this, please leave down in the comments what this is supposed to be. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, I don't think you would have just put that there just because it has to be like a real, oh, excuse me. I spit a little bit. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> it has to be like a real thing. So let me know what that is. Landscaping, love, 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 love. But this is what I was talking about in that, in that first build, kind of like how you kind of covered the base, the border of the pool with all the plants. So it, you kind of can't really tell it's a pool and it kind of looks rounded because we don't have rounded pools. Um, yeah, and then there's like a little garage space over here. You even put hay bales up there. Love, love, love. Nice little garage area. Okay, terrain painting. I see you. I see you terrain painting. <laughs> and I know I was gonna keep all the lots in Newcrest, but this was a 40 by 40, so I'm in, I'm in Brindleton Bay. And then we have like more crops over here. I love these. I love the trees. Are these, what are these? This is an elm tree. Are those, I think those are debug trees. I don't think these grow fruit. I don't think, an, yeah, an elm tree doesn't grow fruit. So you could make that a whole like little like, I don't know, you, do, you don't call that a vineyard, do you? But you could put like apple trees, lemon trees and all that over there in this area, that'd be neat. Oh, this is pretty. Is this an object? What is this? What is this? <laughs> Landmark. I love this. It's in debug. I've never seen that before. Love that. We go into the backyard. We have an easel. Something for the kiddos. Little area. We love, we love. Landscaping on point. Okay. And then let's turn the grid off. I think this is the front entrance right there. Or would maybe this is the front entrance. So let's let's go inside. Oh, hello. <laughs> so we come in here. We have the dining space with this little area. I love that. I love when people can use these and make it look good. I don't I don't I don't I can never do that and make it look good. Um Okay, all right. So that's a dining space. And then we come into here. I am not good at navigating tap view, so sorry <laughs> if you want me to be in tap view. So we have a little living room. We have a desk. We have couch, bookshelf. You fit quite a lot in here for it to be uh, so little. Okay, then we then the other side must be the kitchen. This is a cute kitchen. It's so tiny and, and cute. Yes, love the color scheme with the blues and the whites. Nice, nice. And then I love that you got stairs in here. I just feel like using, a. Not, if you use the ladder, I'm not calling you like <laughs> bad. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just more impressive if you like get a staircase into a small space, you know? Because you could eat, what is that? <laughs> what is that? You see that, right? <laughs> it's a pillar. It's this. Oh, well, it's okay. It's okay. I didn't see it. I'm ignoring it. <laughs> bathroom, fairly big bathroom. Why didn't I, why didn't I lay out my top floor like this? <laughs> you got some space up here. 
pretty oh because there's no bathroom downstairs got you that's why you had to put one upstairs i didn't put a bathroom upstairs at all and then we have the bedroom oh it's a little closet space that's cute and you even put books at the top nice i love this a lot your detail and oh and a little porch area that's nice that's cute that's very nice your roofing is great <laughs> Like, it looks so much bigger. Like, that's the actual shell, and it looks so much bigger than it actually is. And your detail is on point. Thank you so much for your submission. This is great. I am obsessed with detail. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Love the bridge. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to check out. Thank you, uh, Vinegar Crisp. If you want this build, go check her out him or her, sorry, on the gallery. Um, yeah, but let's check out the next build. Okay guys, so the next build, and I may have said the last one was fifth place. The last one was actually fourth place. This one is coming in at third place. This is the Mediterranean Hill House by It Is Mika, and it's only using base game. This holiday, cre this, uh, holiday celebration pack is a free pack. Um, it has a few holiday items in it. You can get it for free right now if you go to Origin um, or from within the like main menu. But yeah, base game build. So excited. So impressed because there's a lot of detail and I'm a sucker, sucker for detail and landscaping. And the fact that it's a tiny home and it looks like it has a lot of stuff in it. I love that as well. So let's check out this build. So here it is. Y'all, this is great. Like, again, this is what I was talking about, how sh um, I'm going to assume she, but I'm sorry if you identify as anything else. Um, like how you, like how, I'll say Mika, like how Mika put the rocks around this pool to make it so you can't see the border of the pool. Like, oh, there's a bridge right here that's broken that probably at one point went all the way across. I love this. Landscaping on point. Uh, there's even a waterfall. I should have I should have looked at this in live mode or live mode, whatever you call it. I I can't tell what is that a It's probably is it fountain pieces? I'm sorry, I have to look. Yeah, it's fountain pieces. There is like an actual debug waterfall. I just don't know where it is, but <laughs> the fountain pieces work great too. That's, oh, uh, this is, this, this landscaping. And then you like did terrain manipulation. And I, and I a hundred percent know that a lot of this was floating. So you either use the tool mod or the nine key <laughs> to death. Oh, this is just, this is great. This is so nice. So much detail. Got little boxes over here. So much detail. Use a debug fence. We love that. Okay. Yes, Mediterranean home. <laughs> okay, so let's go up. We go into the front door. Okay, grid off. And let's go downstairs. In here. Okay. Oh, wow. You made it open concept. Look at you. <laughs> a little art room. So was there a storyline for this? Let's look and see. Was there a storyline for this? No, there wasn't. Oh, I wish there was. Because you've got a whole little moment going on in here. This is really nice. Have a whole little art room. And then we have an open concept downstairs. Oh, you even use little split leveling at the door. Couch. And then there's the TV. Utilize the paintings. Um, what else? Kitchen. Cute little kitchen. I like it. I like it a lot. I love this up here. They're a little high up. <laughs> like, I don't think I would be able to reach that. But no, kidding. Um, it's no big deal. It's the Sims. They don't even use the cabinets. But I love this. I'm going to have to steal that, putting like a shelf in between two corner pieces. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. 
And then that door, I assume, oh, it's a bathroom. I thought it was leading to the backyard, but it's a bathroom. Nice, nice, nice. Is there, then there's a door right here. So you actually do have to go outside. Oh, I didn't notice the chess table. Nice. Clutter and grill, planter boxes, but you do actually have to go outside to go up to the bedroom. So the bedroom is kind of its own little like wing of the house. I love what you did with this wedding arch. And you put a bench in the middle. I love, I love, I love that you did that. That's so pretty. And you made this. That's, what? What? <laughs> I've never thought of doing that. I've never thought of doing that. This is like debug dirt. And then she sized this down. Or Mika sized this down and put it in there. So that way it looked like it was coming from dirt. Rather, otherwise it would look like that. And that's like ugly. But there's you put the debug dirt. Oh my goodness. Stealing that. Stealing that ASAP, Rocky. <laughs> Stealing that. Okay, we go into here. Oh, I love. I don't know why I love this, but I do. It's like a separate little like entranceway with these arches. Okay. Oh, it's two bedrooms. So we have, I guess this is like the mom's room, or I guess it could be a dad's room and then a toddler's room right off of it. The detail is great. Like you even have a dinosaur right there. And even though it's so, there's a lot of stuff in this build, like a lot of detail and a lot of clutter, but it still looks spacious at the same time. And for, that's like mind blowing <laughs> because mine, I felt like mine was so cramped and this one has a lot of stuff in it, but looks very like spacious at the same time. Really, really good job. Your landscaping gets a hundred out of a hundred, A plus plus, like it looks great. Are there even plants down there in the water? Can we go check that out, please? Go down, 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 down. There are, what? <laughs> I would never, like, I never do that. Oh my goodness, there's the, oh, this is great. Good job, good job, good job. This is a really good build. This is why it's at third place. Oh, good job. Let's move on to second place. Okay, guys, the next build is by Amaya102. This is the artesian a-frame so we i think we have a story here so we have lot type rental <clears throat> this secluded cabin is the most popular vacation destination for all the famous artists in the sim universe away from the busy cities and suburban scenes creative minds can escape to this luxury cabin in the woods here they can draw inspiration from the vast natural landscape and their muses free from distraction Free from distraction. Artists pass. Uh, artists pass have pieces. Wait, what? <laughs> Art, maybe it's supposed to say pass. Artists have pieces stored here to provide idea, mood, auras to help increase the skills of budding talents. Many, ame many amenities included. We love a good story. So let's. This is coming in at second place, by the way. So. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is coming in at second place, which w it was so hard to choose because this is so great and it's so detailed. I love all of you guys' use of the terrain tool and landscaping. Like some of this landscaping, I'm just like, how did you do this? How did you even like, I know how you did it, but it's like, how did you even have the patience to do this? We even, oh my goodness, there's even like a little campsite right here. Not a whole campsite, but like, there's a soccer ball. <laughs> I love all the details. Like if there's not enough, I guess if there's like not enough space in here, someone can come sleep there. We have a fire pit. Uh, what else? What else is out here? We have this little moment, which is so cute. Okay, let's let's get to that level. Let's get to that level. This is nice. Oh, there's even a fountain. So we have a, uh, what is that called? A grill, a little picnic table, and it's surrounded by this kind of like, um, like moat. 
Give me one second. I'm getting a call. Okay, sorry about that. But yeah, it's kind of like surrounded by this like little moat. Like this one, I'm okay with it not being like putting rocks around it. Because it looks like it's supposed to be like man-made. Like whoever built this lot. Like if it was a real, if it was a real lot. Uh, or like a real place. Whoever was the like builder like actually put this here themselves. And I think that was the point because there's even lights there's even lights at the bottom and drains. So this isn't supposed to be like a natural kind of water situation. But love that. Uh, what other... Oh, look at this. We have the wood. We have the little picnic basket. A bicycle. A place to paint. The little bees. We have this little sitting area. I assume that's the front entrance. Yeah, because here's like the sign. Here's some stairs, which I guess is how you get up. Yes, because the pathway is right here. Like, this is technically the front of the lot, so it makes sense for the stairs to be right there. Is that everything that's on the outside? Yes. So let's look on the inside. <clears throat> oh, wow. Hello. What did you even do? <laughs> Love the open floor plan yet again. Another one with an open floor plan. You did use a ladder, but that's totally fine in this case. I feel like it makes sense with this being a cabin. I feel like that makes sense. Only thing is you couldn't bring toddlers here. But with the storyline that um, she gave, you wouldn't. this really isn't a place for toddlers. It's for like artists who want to come here and get inspiration. So if we go down here, I love the split leveling. This is like the living room space and you did something crazy with the roofs and an archway and made like a little indoor garden with a fountain. Oh my gosh, stealing this, stealing this. <laughs> love the uh, love the shelves and you cluttered them all up. Are these like the things that give give you like the aura? I'm probably not. I don't know. But I love this big TV. We love the big TV postcards everywhere then we have the kitchen really big kitchen for how small this build is or for how small this shell is and it's even split leveled love 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 then we over here to the bathroom oh my gosh this is a balcony <laughs> this is a balcony and you put it as like a little roof detail to separate like the areas of the bathroom, like this is over the tub area and the sink. And then this is over the toilet and the, um, I, it's the roof that's making it pop up like that over the toilet and the, what is this called? The shower. I love this. And this is another build that kind of looks like it, like, even though it's really like detailed and, and cluttered, it still looks spacious. Like, I would have never thought, like, I just made mine like a normal, regular, smegular, modern house. And I would have never thought to do something like this. It, it, there's so much room in here. <laughs> but if you look at the one I did, you would never think there was this much room. Okay, then you go up the ladder. And we have the bedroom. Oh, this is cute. Little um, keyboard with the bookshelves. What is this? What is, what it, this is great. Oh my gosh. This is why this is second place. <laughs> so these are like, I think from city living, not those, those are university windows, but I think these are city living. And then you, they intersected them with shelves and made like a little architectural detail. And we love, we love, love the detail, love the clutter. Love the split level, how there's a step up to the bed. And then there's a door here that leads to a small little balcony that has a yoga mat. We love, I love what you did with these to kind of line that. I love that. Isn't this, what is this? Did I know about this object? I had to have known about that object. Love that. And then this door leads to another balcony. I did not know this had a jacuzzi. I did not know this lot had a jacuzzi. Here we go, a hot tub. Whatever you call it, wherever you're from. Oh my gosh. I love. I want to play in this lot. 
I want to play in this lot. And I love how you guys are making them look a lot bigger than they are. Like, this is fantastic. Great job. Like, this is really why I want to give second and third place something, too. Maybe I could give... Since... since since the first place winner is getting a game pack, maybe second place could get a stuff pack and third place can get a kit, maybe. We'll see. Again, it's going to depend on what my wallet's looking like. <laughs> but all of you guys deserve it. This is this is awesome. Sorry if you saw that spit. But anyway, let's get to the number one build. Okay, guys. And the first place build goes to it Darrell. I see. Sorry if I'm butchering that name, but congratulations, you have won this shell challenge. Your build came in first place. This is the Mountain Lake Cow. <laughs> this is the Mountain Lake Cabin, and I think we have a storyline. So it says, this is the shell challenge I made for Simply, Simply Shell 2. I enjoyed doing it and hope you like it too. I added an extra, extra cabin, which I think is to which I think is no rule breaking. So there is more space. It has an art studio and there should be some fishes in the lake. Please put BB dot move objects on just in case. So no storyline, but that's okay. That's okay. So congratulations, you won. And let's check out your build. Um, I mean, <laughs> what can I say? It's great. I, I love this. This, I wonder... I should have looked to see where you placed it because it kind of looks like with the snowy, um, the, the snowy escape trees, it kind of looks like it could have been placed in Mount Komorebi, but then it has this like water tower. So it also looks like it could be in, uh, Brindleton Bay. So I'm not sure. I think it was supposed to be Mount Komorebi because we have these things too. So maybe it was supposed to be in Mount Komorebi, but that's okay. We're here in Newcrest and we're living for it. But the detail, the detail, another person that put um, greenery in the, in the pool, the whole bottom is grass. <laughs> Love that. Oh, I would have never thought to do this. Never. Are the, wait, 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 wait. Wait. <laughs> okay, no. I thought they used my shell twice. <laughs> I thought they used my shell twice, but no, they didn't. This this is my shell. Because the, pl la, 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 la. the platform is here. The platform is right here. And this is my actual shell. This is the part... This is the cabin that they added on that they were talking about. So that was not against the rules. As long you could have done this, you could have added a whole separate building and attached them. You could have done whatever you want as long as you left these walls alone. And that's exactly what this person did. Um, but yeah, love the detail. Love, love, love the detail. Let's look inside of this part first. So this is not my shell. This is just what they added on so that it could be a functional or so not it would have been functional but just to make it bigger so that they could have uh more room to work with we have a bathroom i'm just going through it quickly since this isn't technically the shell a little office space we love we love a nice living room this gives me very like i don't know what kind of vibes but i i like the vibes <laughs> i like the vibes it gives me kind of like get together vibes i i like this <laughs> which makes sense this is a whole get together couch <laughs> but we like that and then it has an upstairs okay landing it has a landing which go oh the kitchen is upstairs okay i would not want to carry those groceries up <laughs> because you have to you have to carry the groceries up here into the front door and up the stairs <laughs> But it's The Sims. There's no groceries. I love this. Nice kitchen. And then there's a door here that leads out to this balcony space. Chest table. Nice. And then we go up. And this is the proper... Sh this is my actual shell. So this was the 
the uh, platform. So we just have some plants and little, uh, small little details. And then we go into that door and we have like a little seating area and um, what is this? <laughs> Flower arranging station that, oh, this is nice. What? Okay, custom art. So this is more custom art from the gallery. But this one's beautiful. Oh, that I love that little space. I love that area. Love that area. And then we go upstairs. Ooh, excuse me. And we have the bedroom. So wait, are there, is there still only one bedroom? There is. I mean, nothing's wrong with that. But oh, I didn't even realize that it had a sunroof over that little like painter's area. We love that. Okay, what is going on? Thank you. Cute little room. Yes. What really pushed this build over the edge, though, was the exterior. Like, it's great. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure up under these rocks, there's like, I, I can't, it's, I don't know if you raised, did you raise the terrain or did you just put it on a really high foundation and then connect the two? I don't know, but like, look at this. And it would look so, it would even look, it would look that much better if I put it, like if I placed it on the lot that they built it on, that they built it on, because then it would like fit its surroundings better. But I'm lazy and I put it in Newcrest. But this is great. So let's pull up your name again, because this is becoming a long video, I already know. I've been recording 27 minutes, and that's for this video. The The first half of the video, I don't even know how long that was, maybe like 16 minutes. So, um, yeah, so it, it Terrell, you won this shell challenge, and you get to pick a game pack, and I will send you that game pack as your prize. So... I don't know how to get in contact with you, so if you're watching this, hopefully you are, contact me on Twitter or comment on this video. Um, yeah, my Twitter is in the description box. It's just at SimplyCoco94, or you can comment on this video, and I will get that sent to you. So if you contact me on Twitter, make sure you follow me, and... Um, shoot me a DM and just say shell challenge winner or hi, it's me and put your gallery ID name or something like that. Um, cause I have no idea how to get in contact with you and be honest people. You guys don't, if you're, if you're not it or L, <laughs> don't contact me on Twitter and saying that this is you just so you can get the free game pack. Um, so yeah, either comment on this video or dm me on twitter and i will get this to you and those of you that came in second and third place keep an eye out um on my community my community tab here on youtube and also on my twitter and if i decide to get you guys something i will let you know in both of those places but yeah that is it guys thank you to everyone for your submissions i will leave it here Thank you everyone for your submissions. They were all great. I am going to be doing a second video where I go through more of uh, of you guys' builds. So they I won't like place them like first place, second place, third place, fourth place. I'll just simply go through what's left of them on the gallery um, in maybe two or three more videos just because they were all so great. Um, but yeah, that's it. This video is long enough, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will always respond to your comments. And please hit that notification bell. That way you know exactly so you know exactly when I post my next video, exactly when I post it, and I will see you all then. I don't know what happened just then. My I literally had the biggest brain fart. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.